No, thank God. Um, but you see, I, I'll just block them and mm. move on. I don't take it to heart what happens. But um, Gregory mentioned something. Now, I was just about to interrupt and I was listening to you, Gregory. I thought, no, I don't want to interrupt you. And I have something <laughs> okay. good to add. No, now it's gone. Oh, no. Uh, well, please, uh, well, please interrupt me next time. I really don't mind, but I appreciate that. So okay. we we're talking about being about uh, text scams. Um, so, you know, in my Hotmail addresses, I'll get in the spam folder things that say they're from FedEx, things that say they're from Amazon, things that say they're from all these places. And I know they're not because I just they're in the junk, so I bid them straight away. I was looking at Gregory's block list. We just looked at it to see because I've never had to block anybody because to me, social media is just noise. It's not actually what I'm doing. It's just something I um, appear on. So how many people do you think you've blocked? Because he's got a quite a, a hefty list. I think about 20 maybe oh it's not a lot then no i i don't know actually i might just block them and move on and i just forget about it because it's not relevant to me today it's right. not important it's not going to um interfere with my life my professional life or my personal life so i just f block them and forget them um but i remembered what it was it, I was going to say now so you mentioned about the LinkedIn and mm -hmm. spamming so what usually happens is agencies will work with a company where they want to reach out to people and they'll try and uh, find out what the demographics are within LinkedIn buy that data list with their um, LinkedIn details and just bulk send them that information um, so yeah I get them as well. So that's the sales navigator, isn't it? That's the sort of paid for LinkedIn. It probably is. Yeah, most probably. Have so you... the... Go on. So it is great to use sales navigator if you're going to use it perhaps to reach out to a couple, maybe five people a week. But when you're overdoing it, it's you will just get on people's nerves and they just don't want to build that relationship with you because at the end of the day you're going to make connections with people when they get to know you they like you and they trust you mm -hmm. and that's going to happen sometimes it happens over one phone call or a few emails sometimes it will take years for that mm -hmm. person to get to know you like and trust you before they will give you that opportunity to have that more in-depth conversation that discovery call or that face-to-face -face meeting and it's all about, you know, creating those connections, being personable, um, being authentic. And that is what is instilled as values into my business. I think that's excellent. And, to me. Uh, and, and what I have found personally, I can't speak for others, but being authentic and trying to start those conversations and just have real conversations with people is a heck of a lot more fun than sending out a whole bunch of messages and hoping somebody, you know, will respond positively and you can, you can, you know, work on that. Yes, it takes longer to reach a hundred or a thousand people by, you know, having a tailored message and a tailored conversation or a um, phone conversation with all those folks, but the value that you build um, over time is going to be exponential, I would think, compared to I'm going to spam Absolutely. the world. Hopefully, I'm going to get this 5% to say yes. Yeah, yeah. You're so right, Gregory, because people buy people at the end of the day. And yeah. I've learned my mistakes through the 14 years, um, whether I'm buying from suppliers or onboarding agents or even new clients. Sometimes I don't listen to my instincts, and my instincts always prove me right. You know, it's they don't perhaps mirror my values and I don't expect everybody to whether it be suppliers clients agents but if they are open and they are on board with the various values that I have instilled within the business um, and they actually listen to me mm -hmm. then yeah we can work together so listen I think what I'd like to do because our other guests haven't turned up today um, will I'd like 
So you said earlier that you've learned from your mistakes over those 14 years. Is there, I don't know, three things that you can say, if you look down the barrel of your camera and speak to, to the female audience out there, is there three things that you can say that would help them to avoid some of the pitfalls so the gazelle who started with us is a young lady she's probably i don't know i don't know how old she is but certainly younger than 25 and mm. um her story is 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 shocking so is there are there tips you have um learn how to do martial arts <laughs> that's the first thing <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I'll be taking my black belt grading this Saturday. Really? Excellent. Oh, yeah, man. Excellent. I can't wait. Um, so yeah. Um, don't be afraid to say no thank you. And don't feel guilty for blocking somebody. Mm -hmm. um, you know, however that is going to happen on whichever platform. Listen to your instincts, most definitely and have a tribe around you of trusted business associates, um, whoever that might be, that really get your business and where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. um, as much as I like to discuss my business with my husband, sometimes he doesn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Because um, he's in a completely different industry to me. Um, just have somebody that is on board and that can really hear you out give you some coaching, perhaps some mentoring. Um, that's what I would have done come 14 years ago, had some coaching and had some mentoring, um, most definitely. And perhaps with a female advocate, I've got a fantastic business and personal development female coach um, who has been really instrumental to me in the last two years right. and my business. And I don't think I would be here if it wasn't for her that's very interesting i'll um uh connect you up with a, a lady we did a, a call about coaching actually called victoria beal i'll send you a link in uh, in linkedin uh okay mm -hmm. well look so today's show has taken a uh, a different uh angle insofar as we looked at uh, not only unwanted behavior um in, in a unseemly fashion but the nature of just unprofessionalism and um, an inattention to relationship building, which you have to do in this world. You've always had to do it, but some people have not paid attention. Our next recording uh, we're going to do with uh, various new people. But oh, yeah, just as we leave, do you want to give your company a plug and ask for the sort of people you want to connect with? Yes. So Pebble Marketing UK um thank you um so uh, we do telesales and telemarketing and we specialize in creating connections with through personable and professional conversations and converting them into your prospective clients so i write your sassy pitch i get you through the gatekeeper and i make that appointment for you happen there you go what a tagline okay linkedin family uh we'll see you again keep watching be happy be nice see you soon cheers